Hey there guys, it's Rick Huster here with Ergen Web, and this is our next episode in Going Ballistic. Today we're taking a look at a 25 cal Benjamin Marauder customized with a JSR valve and hammer. Let's see what this thing does for us. So before we get started, I want to let you guys know that this series is brought to you by ATN Optics, Clear Ballistics, and the major sponsor is h and Pellets. Those guys have been awesome to work with. Tons of sample products, tons of patience, tons of time to let us get out there and just see what really works and have a lot of fun doing it. So I want to say thank you to all of them. Now let's get into what we're going to talk about today. This is a Benjamin Marauder. It came to me stock and we tweaked it up. That's what we did. We dropped the JSR valve in it, we put a different hammer in it, and what that means is we get more power. The very cool valve they've created doesn't need as much energy to deliver more power, which is awesome, and it's more efficient on the air usage too. So it's just a win-win-win on that type of a setup. What's it do in real life? Well, you know, you're starting off about 38, 40 foot pounds with a stock Marauder, and I know you can kind of tweak that and make it more, I'm talking about like out of the box. But you can take that up to 60, 70, 80 foot pounds with this valve, depending on what you want to do. So it's a major jump in power. So let's talk about what we're getting out of the pellets we're using today. We're shooting the Barracuda Hunter Extremes, and we're shooting the H&N Hornets. Now, the Barracuda Hunter Extreme, we're gonna go to the paper here so I make sure you get the right data. The Barracuda Hunter Extremes are 28.24 grain. This is shooting those at 885 feet per second. That's 49 and some change foot-pounds. That's pretty spanking out of this gun. Now we can go to the Hornet. The Hornet is 24.38 grain, and it's going 952 feet per second, also just over 49 foot-pounds. So both of those actually are giving you the basically the same energy out of this gun, which is kind of cool to see. Now, how do they do in the gel? Well, they do awesome in the gel. Let's take a look. The first pellet we shot was the Barracuda Hunter Extreme, and when it hits the gel, you just get this massive wound channel. That's what they do. They open up, they deliver all the energy up just right there up front, up close and personally, get the job done. That's what that pellet's designed to do, not over penetrate. Make sure that you're dumping all the energy in your game. Now let's switch over to the Hornet. The Hornet continues to be one of my favorite pellets of all time. It's super accurate and it dumps all of its energy in a very short space. So when it hits the gel, you get this massive wound channel. It does all the damage and just gets the job done. As you guys are looking at the gel now, you can really see these pellets are just devastating on small games. One of the reasons I really like them. And again, you can have energy, power, all that stuff, but if you don't have accuracy, you got nothing. And these pellets are very accurate out of this gun. This whole thing was a lot of fun to kind of get out and play with in the ballistics channel because it's kind of a new product for us. It's kind of taking the stock marauder, kicking it up a few notches, and we're getting some great results. You can see what the energy does in the gel. Pretty doggone impressive. Guys, that's going to be it for now. My name is Rick Uchi here with Airgun Web. Thanks for watching.